Either way, though, it's time to power up my car and keep on rolling. Still, I'm really sad that uh, my one, like, fan on this thing did have to disappear the way it did. But, it happens. This is still the whole reason why I'm not adding any extras onto there right now, because still, I'm going to need those fans at some point. I really am. I have a feeling, but... But yeah, even just going up this hill, like, having these kind of wheels on the front actually does make a huge difference. Because, like, I was able to to keep rolling instead of getting the front stuck on the front... Well... What do you call that? It's just, like, the front edge stuck on the edge of a... of a cliff or something. The design makes perfect sense. It's the best design ever. Nobody's made a better car. Clearly. It's the reason why every single car in real life looks like this. With multiple signs attached to them. <laughs> for everyone to read. But, yeah. Oh well. Uh, where's the uh, place that I'm heading to again? Because, like, yeah, I feel like I'm not that far away, but I am surprisingly far away at the same time. Wait a second. Like, this up ahead, like... Also, even this. What's that up in the sky? Oh. Well, there's... I, I think I just saw a shooting star of some sort, but there was also, like... There's a floating piece in the sky somewhere. Oh, there's just too much going on. Oh, boy. But... <laughs> still, though. Oh, man. Like, this up ahead, you know, it's not just a tower. It also looks like there's a, a horse barn thing, maybe, and like a settlement. Yeah, like a stables. That's probably what I'm trying to say. Oh, wow, there's a strong big ol' uh, Bokoblin there. It's not even like a Moblin, that's just still, for some reason, Bokoblin. Mr. Bokob, but a fat one. Okay, like, how far away is that? Because I have a feeling it's, it's like, right around here. But, I mean, either way, I mean, I still should take down the, uh... The tower, first and foremost. And add more... <laughs> add more wheels. Because... You never know, maybe this thing will fall upside down at one point or another. You might need wheels attached to the quarters. It's an important thing. <laughs> it's like one of those, uh... There's those toys that you can, like, have that climb up walls, essentially. And then they, they flip over and stuff. Like, they were all the rage in the... the 90s. Or, like, late 90s, early 2000s. I don't know. That's, that's what it makes me think of. Those, those cars that can drive upside down. And it is still <laughs> necessary just for the sake of it, because I think it's funny. The ultimate wheel mobile. Bum bum bum. I wish I had more booster thrusters on the back here, but it, it's just the way things go. How about this one? I think it just says, like, all of them are the exact same thing. I'm just like, Hudson Construction. Eventually, I, I'm gonna have to meet these Hudson guys and... Oh, no! Oh, my car! Oh, why? It's rolling away! But still, like, I have a feeling that, uh... Like, these Hudson Construction guys, they must have done a lot in the, uh, the years since... Still, Breath of the Wild, they... They're doing some pretty crazy things. But, speaking of crazy things... <laughs> because it's necessary. <laughs> Link is the collector of signs. If you've ever seen a sign that's on the side of the road, Link's gonna take it. And make sure that you know that these are all building materials from Hudson construction and, and 
them alone for some reason. Also, what is over here? Were you guys like these goblins were just here the entire time? Uh oh. Oh, you like stabbed me midair. Oh boy. See, and this is the the point in time where the frame rate just tanks. Um. Well, I think I might waste the simmered fruit. I'm gonna have to cook at some point, but at least I have the ability to have cook pots if I need. Oh, that was almost perfect timing there. I just gotta make sure that I don't get hit by these guys. Uh, wooden shield. This lightweight, simple shield is ideal for less experienced fighters. It can withstand light attacks and blocking stronger bows is not recommended. Okay. Oh wait, what is this too? Oh, I guess maybe this is just their log that they like practiced on. Traveler spear, an average spear carried by travelers for protection. It's decayed and doesn't cut well, but its shape makes for easy for anyone to handle. <clears throat> well, and also that's the biggest thing is this: it's at least not a rusty traveler spear. So. That alone means I probably want it, but I have too many good items. And too many items that, like, I just need to destroy this Soldier Reaper, I think. And my other Boko Horn thing, but I feel like this might have had more damage on it. I don't remember. Honestly, still don't remember at all. Oh, so cinematic. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I was thinking. Makes it nice and easy. Okay. Boko bow, a basic bokoblin bow made of wood. It's made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to the other end. So don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother picking it up then. If that's what you think. Uh. Probably should just let that guy shoot at me with his arrows for a while, because then I get free arrows. It's like, look at all these things. Also, what is this? <laughs> just, just another rock hammer. <laughs> An average sword used largely by travelers. That's what a rock hammer is, uh, by definition. The blade has decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. So yeah, I think it's just a uh, rusted uh, weapon with a rock on the end. Which means... <laughs> just have to throw it off into the distance. Still, I, I love the throwing mechanics more than anything else in this game. It's just it's so much fun. Like, oh, I don't need this weapon anymore. And then you just yeet it across the entire world, as some might say. Oh, nice. More arrows. Still, I, I complained about arrows before, and but like that's the thing, is you should never complain about having extra arrows. Just in general. Ooh, tough decision. I might actually just drop that. Because, oh, actually, it's only one damage extra, right? Traveler's Spear, having having the, the range advantage kind of is more important, all things considered. But, yeah, like, I <laughs> feel like there should be an easy way of breaking uh, these uh, crates. Or actually, I have an idea anyway. Why don't I, uh, why don't I attach some crates together? I'm not going to attach it to my my device, if you're wondering. So, I mean, that, that would be the smartest idea of all. Oh boy. That's how you do it. But... I just want to... Actually, maybe I should do it more like this way. Because I think you might have an idea of what I'm trying to do here. I mean, if I can climb up in between this tiny little spot. Okay. Because I was thinking, like, why not bring all of these crates together all at once and then just explode it with one individual bomb flower? Which also, I don't only have four bomb flowers. That's like nothing. I need to go up into the sky at some point just to to see what's going on here. But uh, if you drop it, will it ignite? Uh, I guess not. Well, I guess the the next best option is doing this. <laughs> is 
Just have a badly damaged bow. Uh, attach one individual bomb to it. If I can find them. And away, hopefully, I go. <laughs> oh, this... Oh, it's just roasted acorn. An acorn cooked with direct heat. Its nutty aroma has been amplified. Yeah, because everything that was in there is all baked. Baked apple. Direct heat. Yes. Oh, and I still wish that I had my glider. I better get it from getting to this objective, but... Yeah, now I know, um... Blowing things up with a, uh... <laughs> a bomb <laughs> flower just attached to the end of a uh, an arrow. It does work, but is it really a smart idea? No. <laughs> Not really. Also, because what the heck happened here? So my wheel's blown off. But also, baked apples got all the way over this direction, too. This is ridiculous. Still, I'm, I'm not entirely sure the physics of why it happened, or how it happened. All I know is I'm still just happy my, uh... My pieces are still available. Oh no, please don't. Oh no! Oh, you can just throw it directly! Oh! <laughs> At least, now I know my, my mistake. Now, because all you have to do is just, yeah, throw things from your inventory. Same with, like... You can just... <laughs> You can just throw apples at people. I love that that is a mechanic. Just straight up that you can throw things from your inventory. Does that mean still, it makes it a lot easier for, uh, for bombs. Which is always a, a nice, nice thing. But... Oh man. Why can't I reattach this? Okay, this might be the point where I have to flip my card upside down. See, this is the whole reason why it exists in a three-dimensional space just for this off occasion that I have to repair things. You know, you just- sometimes you have to- you get a, a flat tire on the side of the road. This is just a flat wheel... barrow wheel. To just repair it from the bombs that were going off. Yeah, it doesn't really want to attach to the axle so well. There we go. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Cause even this, yeah, that wheel looks a little bit off. I might as well fix it while I'm here. It's the weirdest thing is that this... At a certain point in time, you'll never be able to tell what side's up. When it comes to this cart. Which is exactly what I want. Okay. Still the amazing flip cart of legend. Let us go. I mean... I don't know, I probably should put something fused onto that, uh, onto my spear. Cause like, I could probably fuse a horn, if nothing else. Ah, oh, whatever. Balls to it. I think I dropped- oh yeah, I did drop one, good. It is still here, but it's just not as easy as you might be thinking. Especially since I'm on the road while this is going. <laughs> Oh man. Well, let's attach. Nice. So having a six, yeah, six damage soldier spear is pretty fancy. If I do say so myself, but... Yeah, I should probably still just have this weapon as my main one, because... It should break first. But... Either way... Oh man, this, the ability to like be inventory man, well, managing your inventory while you're on a cart rolling down the road. It's something I never thought I'd be able to do in a Zelda game, but here I am. <laughs> Come on, make it up the hill. Come on, little cart. I know you can do it. But still, you can actually get to some pretty, pretty quick speeds with this thing. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty sure that my uh, Zonai device here is tanking the frame rate. I mean, a little bit. But, I mean, it's bound to happen. 
<laughs> and when you try to have something with this many points of articulation all together, like... All things considered, this should be destroying the game, pretty much. I mean, I probably will at some point. I'll be able to get this game down to like 5 FPS. It'll be a thing. I'll find a way. Um... But yeah, I guess the... Wait a second. Are these actually... Oh no. <laughs> My cart... Yeah. No way! Oh, wait. Link! Mr. Link! But still, like, it's like, I thought he was saying no way because I, I was about to hit him with my my cart. But, anyway. Is that really you? Where have you been? No one has seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pierre's has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. Well, I mean, look up in the sky and see just the craziness that has been going on. <clears throat> At the moment, Pierre should be in that building with the telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're all right. Oh, okay. I'm surprised she's not at Hatno, actually. Or still, like, the, the whole... <laughs> thing about that this is the new hat no right here basically maybe oh boy well this is the the alternate uh, way of riding my creation too is <laughs> a little bit upright but I just want it inside the town okay oh whatever I'll leave it out here remember where you parked I mean, it's okay if it, it does despawn. I'm going to be disappointed and sad, but... I've, I've had a good run with this thing. <laughs> I can always make new carts. Okay. But no, I think that this, this area is just so busy that the game's just trying to render so much at once. I just need to be careful where I'm looking. <laughs> Still, this is the exact reason why, like... Tears of the Kingdom once... <gasps> Ooh, there are random wheels in here. And you can just pick them up too. That is amazing. You can run like just as fast with and without it. So like, maybe that's... I don't know, his own eye device carrying is still is about the same speed maybe. But still, it's good to know that they just have randomly wheels here. Oh, because I can make a, a wheelbarrow. Like a, or, you know, it's a, a barrel with wheels on the side. That's what I'm trying to say. But still, it's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> anyway, still, it's... What I was trying to say is that this game is going to be just that much more impressive when it inevitably comes out on the Switch 2 with more power and in 4K and all that good stuff, but... Sword shut the castle! I'm right in the middle of giving out orders. This group's been going to join the search for Princess Zelda. Oh, okay. So, whatever you need, it's got to wait until... Eh? Wait, what? Is that really you, Link? You've returned. I've got to say that it's a relief to see you, I That and you're safe. <laughs> I'm Growlins. Wait, but... Was Link supposed to know him already? Like, this is the weirdest thing, is like... Did Link lose his memory when he went up in the sky? Because, I mean, I don't know what any of this stuff going around is. So, I mean, it, it feels like it's it's all new to me, but it shouldn't be new to Link. Anyway, head of the monster control crew. But we can talk more later. You need to report into Pure immediately. Yeah, uh, of course. She has to know you're back. Monster control crew. Your interest in our work honors us all. But please go tell Pure you're safe. Okay. Can I steal your horse? Ah, I guess not. Cause that would be the next step too. But like it's amazing. Wait, I think I know this place. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't work that way. 
wherever your camera is looking, no matter what, always counts as what you're doing. I, I was hoping that, you know, actually, I guess there is one way of solving that problem. Is that you just, you press ZR, or, or ZL, that is. Then you look where you are. But... Okay, no, this isn't exactly where it was, because still, this is where Hyrule Castle is. I mean, I'm looking toward it, obviously, but this lookout landing... See, this is exactly kind of the idea of what I was thinking of. Is that, you know, I guess that they, they didn't necessarily move directly back to the castle itself, but they moved back to a place really close by, and this is like... This still, honestly, is one of the better locations to build in all of Hyrule, I would think. It took them a while, and all they've done is built mostly out of wood, but it's still pretty cool. This guy also doesn't believe it. He's probably going to say the same thing. Talk to Pyrrha. Is she still a child, or is she a little bit older? Are you, are you Pyrrha? You're not, you're not the one. Uh, Pose? Oh. Are there Pose in this game? Like, straight up? Just like the classic style Pose? Pose. <laughs> and you just pray to it. Pose. Okay. This is really cool, though. Either way, even if I say, like, oh, this isn't... I didn't do a whole lot in the time since Breath of the Wild. This still is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely... Like, everything, uh, every single location I go to, I'm just probably gonna be amazed. It's just like... Still, I can't wait until I actually get to Hatno Village and Kakariko and all that, too. Need to go find Impa. Oh, still, she's a little bit older now. She's not exactly just a child, so how many years has it been, then? Wait, is that...? Because also... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm even gonna bother trying to do, like, a... The high pitch kind of voice for, for Pyrrha, because, I mean... I think I sort of did before, but either way, it's just like all my high-pitched voices sound exactly the same, and it's like, it destroys my voice that much quicker. So, I'd like to preserve my ability to talk for a little while longer and just see what the story is like. Okay. Oh, this is Josh. Joshua. What? I thought this was Pyrrha. That hair, those eyes, the the doc oh. Dr. Pyrrha. The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! So I guess I was needing to talk to her first. Oh! What? Okay. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Well, I'm a naked ghost if I am. <laughs> hey. That looks interesting. Don't like to wear clothes, but now that I'm dead. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Pura, head of Lookout Landing. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature, and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rauru. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice, and find your way here. It's interesting that she's kind of, like, going through Link's story up to this point, when it's like, you know, Link could have easily said this, but as we all know, Link is kind of mute. He he prefers to have somebody else tell his story for him. You know, he, he wrote it all on a piece of paper for uh, Pyrrha to read off. 
<laughs> and then there's, of course, dot dot dot. But still, it is interesting. Like, I I guess it must have been enough years between Breath of the Wild that, you know, Pyrrha grew up and is now still, I'm assuming, like, full-on adult at this point. Because still everybody's, like, going crazy online. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I must simp for... simp for Pyrrha and all that. I need to enunciate better because it's... Weird saying these uh, strange words that I never would have even thought of before the internet uh, soured my my mind. Oh boy! But still, it's uh, it's very interesting that uh, the way things have been going. Either way, huh? let's see what she's done to create this lookout landing. Then, what? Are you saying you came from up there? Yeah, Link is he's a pretty good skydiver. Yeah, wouldn't you say? Pretty impressive. This Rauru you met, I think that's what the king, first king of Hyrule was named. Oh, so <laughs> that's <laughs> still weird coincidence that, you know, he's, the original king of Hyrule is uh, a guy with giant ears and Zonai and all that kind of stuff, but are they one and the same? Uh, so much of this doesn't make sense yet. See that? And that's always the thing. We'll figure it out over the course of this game. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Oh, is that what you actually call it? Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Well, yeah, and it's still like... As much as I would have... If I was living in this world, I would have tried to build on Hyrule Castle. You'd be screwed now. There'd be people stranded up there. <gasps> Man. And then, there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her. If that was truly the princess, then that means she's alive. Yeah, she probably is in just a different dimension. That's, that's the way it is. She... She's trapped in a different dimension, and she stole my Master Sword from me. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, but she's purifying it in some way, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. <laughs> That's the way I'm still interpreting it all, but... That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. Oh. Well, I mean, at least Link is okay. It's still probably a good idea for them to keep searching for Zelda if they want to, but... The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Sounds familiar, but I don't know. Work with him and to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. <laughs> Mr. Linky Pooh. Oh. Character profiles? That's interesting that they actually have this. Maybe this will tell me all the information that I was wondering. Bira, head of Lookout Landing. The highest authority on ancient technology, because she's pretty much designed it all. <laughs> In certain ways. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Yeah, I see it not too long ago. So, I mean, did she reverse it in some way or is she just still aging naturally now? That's the... <laughs> you're dressed weird. No, you're dressed weird. Link's just a, a, a nudist. Partially, but I mean, not quite, because I mean, he can't be a full nudist because he has his shorts on, but like, he just likes to be naked and feel the wind across his skin, and whenever it rains, the tears of the kingdom on his skin. Because that's the way it works, obviously. Okay.